This is the classic egg in the bottle demonstration. And I am going to have atmospheric pressure push the egg into the bottle by lowering the pressure in the glass container. I'm going to do so by lighting a fire under the bottle. And hopefully by lighting a fire and gas molecules expanding out as temperature increases, so does the volume of gas. The number of gas positions that can exist in this volume will decrease as the space between them increases. As temperature increases, their motion increases, so there's less gas molecules. And as the fire goes out, I'm hoping that the cooling of the gas, keeping molecule constants, temperature dropping, will lower the pressure enough so that atmospheric pressure can push the bottle in. So let me try to do that. Take a piece of paper and try to get it in, on fire here in the bottle. Okay, and then snuff. Whoa, went pretty fast. You notice before it was launched or pushed into the bottle, the fire went out and the gas is cooled. It looks almost instantaneous, but really what happened was the expanding gas molecules left less gas molecules or less density in the bottom, less positions or seats we've been talking about in class. And clearly, as the fire went out, the gas cooled, cooled enough to create a lower pressure system inside the bottle and the higher pressure pushed out. Now the trick is, how do I get the bottle? the uh, egg out, okay? And that's a good little trick that I'm going to show you right now. And I'm going to use Avogadro's law. Higher the number of molecules, higher the volume. Or in this case, we're going to increase the pressure. So what I'm going to do is get over here by the bottle, and I'm going to get this out. All right, so I'm going to take this away. And what I'm going to try to do is get the ash out first. It's a little kind of messy. Okay. Now, the egg clearly doesn't fit in the hole, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to blow around the egg. By blowing around the egg, okay, the egg acts as a self-sealing valve, so I'm going to blow air into the, the, into the container, and by adding more gas molecules, I'm going to increase the pressure enough to push the egg out. Remember, there's only a certain number of gas particles that can fit in this volume at a certain temperature and pressure. That's fixed. So there's only a number of seats in a the theater for this size. But by me blowing more air in, I'm forcing more gas molecules that, that can really be held in this container, and that's going to increase the pressure. Just like if I force more people into a theater that normally can't hold that many, there's going to be pressure. People are going to be next to each other too tightly, and people will be pushed out maybe. So here I go. So I'm going to blow air around it, trying to get this to increase. So let's try this. Okay, and that's how it came out. Hopefully we did a little slower, but there it is. Probably have some ash on me. So, there it goes.